What is good, everybody? Gamer Critic here to talk about the Xbox Game Showcase. That was a damn good show. That, oh, man. Now, if there's one thing Xbox always does a good job at, it is delivering on these legitimately hype showcases. And this one was honestly no different. It answered questions, it gave us surprises, and at the end of the day, all the games here just looked really freaking good. So what did we see at the Xbox Game Showcase? So the show started out with Call of Duty Black Ops 6. They got the So we got the official gameplay trailer. I don't entirely care. I'm not a big Call of Duty guy, but I'm happy for my Call of Duty fans out there. The first big thing that caught my attention was we finally got the big reveal of Doom The Dark Ages. It's officially confirmed for Xbox Series X and PC. A surprise though, it's not launching in 2024, actually launching in 2025. That was interesting. But yep, the gameplay looks as fast paced and absolutely brutal as Doom is supposed to, right? As Doom is supposed to, right? I mean, I mean, you get a freaking gun that shoots skull fragments and a chainsaw shield. Like, what the heck? That looks awesome. After that, we got State of Decay 3, and it, it was a cool trailer. It, it, it was honestly just good to see something that reveals that this game exists. It's in development. It was just good to see that. There wasn't much gameplay. Like, it looked like there was a little bit of it. Honestly, I'm not even sure if you can really call that, like, game gameplay per se. But I'm pretty sure everything that we saw from that trailer looks like it was in-engine footage, and it did look good. It did look good. I wish we got a release date or something. I really didn't want to see anything on State of Decay 3 unless we got a release window because this game has been quiet for too long. Now, this one caught me off guard. Dragon Age The Veil Guard got its first reveal here. But not only did it get a reveal trailer, it actually got a release window for, I think, fall 2024. Wasn't expecting that. I really was not expecting to see, well, to be fair, I wasn't expecting this game at this show regardless, given how it's getting its own show, I think tomorrow or on Tuesday. I definitely wasn't expecting a release window. And, and if we did get a window, I definitely wasn't expecting a release window of 2024. Dang, I was thinking that would be like at least a 2025 game at like the bare minimum. You know what I mean? Then we got some Fallout 76 stuff. I don't entirely care. Uh, Starfield Shattered Space. That one interests me. Starfield Shattered Space looks good. We didn't get a release date, but it looks like they are going to have a focus on that cult that was sort of heavily mentioned in Starfield and shown a few times, but not actually like gone deep into. I think they're going to focus on that a little more. They're going to be giving us a bunch of new colorful locations and new story moments. It, 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 it's exciting, actually, because, you know, again, I enjoyed Starfield a lot, so I'll look forward to finding a reason to go back and play it. I would have hoped that we got a release date or something, but it's good to know that it's still slated for 2024. Then we have what might be the surprise of the show. Like, If I could give an award to the game that I had no idea was coming, but absolutely blew me away, it's this Expedition 33 game. This game looks absolutely incredible it's slated for 2025 coming on xbox series x s pc and i think i read somewhere it's coming to playstation 2 it looks like for so from what we saw in the trailers the best way i can describe it is it looks like it's one of those turn-based rpgs where time input is really important like paper mario or even sea of stars and when we saw that in the trailer that looked so freaking awesome so that was the surprise of the show, my personal game of the show, even though a lot of people are gonna, you know, disagree with me, my game of the show was South of Midnight. This game is probably one of my new anticipated games of 2025, of which it is slated to come out. So we saw the first gameplay of this game. It looks like a third person action game. The combat looks really, really cool, but I'm not gonna lie. I really only love this game so much for the visuals. The cutscenes look absolutely stellar with this mesmerizing, with this gorgeous stop motion look that just blows me away. It's so stylized. And the one thing that I love more than a game that looks really good is a game that has style. South of Midnight looks like it's gonna have a crap ton of style. 
Then we got an update on Metal Gear Solid Delta, and it looks as good as the last time that we saw it. Except this time, we saw a lot more gameplay and a lot more story moments. And those moments, of course, looked really cool. Again, sadly, we didn't get a date. I, I would hope that we would have gotten a few more windows and dates for a lot of games that are still slated for 2024. But this one, we didn't even get a release window. So that bites, but it's still slated for 2024. So hopefully we see something relatively soon. So you know what I said about Expedition 33 being the surprise of the show? I'm gonna add a second one. Perfect Dark caught me way off guard. When I was making my like predictions list, right? I was not expecting Perfect Dark to be here at all. I wasn't counting on it. I, 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 cause, cause given everything that we've been hearing about the game being in rough shape, you would think that the initiative would have stayed a little more quiet, but we got the first gameplay trailer of Perfect Dark and it looks not half bad. Now let me extend an olive branch. They could also just be showing off the best parts of the game and all those rumors that we were hearing about being in rough shape. That could still be true, but going off what we saw in this trailer, it did not look half bad at all. And hopefully we don't have to wait an entire, an another what, three, four years to get a new update on it. There is no window, there is no date or window, but from what we saw, it looks good. And I'm just happy to know that this game still exists. We got our first look at Fable gameplay, and I still think it looks solid. I, 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 still, think it, I, I still think it looks good. I just can't get too pumped because we still don't have a lot to go off of when it comes to gameplay. It looks like it's interacting. It looks like the main character is talking and interacting with, with other characters in engine, which is cool. We got a little bit of combat, which kind of looks like some, uh, some finishers, right? But I can't get too excited until I see like a full 15 minute gameplay related thing. You know what I mean? But what we did get was a release window of 2025. That was nice. And it's slated for Game Pass, which is also a W. Okay, three surprises. There's three surprises that got me really freaking excited. There is Expedition 33. There is Perfect Dark. And then there was the freaking reveal of Life is Strange. A new Life is Strange game was shown at the Xbox Showcase. Let's freaking go. That is a W. That, that, that is such a W. That is such a W. And on top of that, the main character that started it all, Max, is back. Max is the main protagonist of this new Life is Strange game, a grown-up version of the character to be exact. She is still using her powers, but this time it looks like the story is gonna be set where she has to solve a murder between two different dimensions. And on top of that, we don't even have too long to wait because we got a release date of October 29th, 2024. This was a great surprise in the show. I am so excited. I, I, I love Life is Strange. I love these type of choice-based story-driven games. So I am so pumped for a brand new Life is Strange. I'll always get excited for a brand new Life is Strange. We got another look at Indiana Jones and, and the Great Circle. Some more cutscenes, some more gameplay. I don't have too much else to say except I'm still sold and I'm really excited for it. We didn't get a release date, which again, bites but it's still slated for 2024 so we'll see if it actually makes it and then we got another look at avowed i'm sorry but i i don't know what it is about avowed but i it's still not winning me over i still think it looks a little better than the last time that we saw it but i, I don't know i'm still not i'm still not that excited for it you know what i mean hey it's it's still slated for 2024 so maybe we'll see another trailer at some point in the future right now we got a neat looking little indie game or small or smaller budget game called Frag Punk. It's a five on five shooter, but the difference is you actually have like cards. Now I don't entirely know how the cards are gonna come into play for the actual com combat, but it reminds me of this really awesome game that came out in 2022 called Neon White, where like it's a platformer, but you also mix it up with cards. So that was pretty cool. I, 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 I liked it. It's slated for 2025, so hopefully we get an update on that soon. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Now, see, this one. Now, 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 now this one is a personal hype game. Mixtape. Now, Mixtape is being created by the dev that created one of my favorite games in 2021, 
The Artful Escape. And The Artful Escape was such a great game with a great emphasis on music. And mixtape, it looks like the same thing. It looks like it's going to be a coming of age story where music is front and center. And on that front, I'm excited. It's slated for 2025. But if I were to bet, I'd say we'd see this game again at the Annapurna Interactive Show in July. So we got this sort of mech game that looks really similar to Armored Core 6 called Mecha Break. I don't know too much else about it, but it looks cool and it comes out in August, so that was fun. We also got a really cool looking Souls-like game called Wu Chang Fallen Feathers. I've been losing a little interest in Souls like I'm not in Souls likes I'm not gonna lie but you know I like the design of it and it's slated for 2025 so that's still very exciting so we got an update on Stalker 2 that was great it's still slated for September and the game looks gorgeous it's running on Unreal Engine 5 I think and it shows the game looks absolutely beautiful and last but certainly not least of the games that got me absolutely pumped there was Gears of War E-Day the rumored Gears of War game that has been in dev, dev, that, that, has, that has been in development was shown, and it wasn't the Gear Six like everyone was expecting it to be. But in some ways, it's more interesting. Apparently, this is a prequel set 14 years before the events of the main game. Now, admittedly, I don't know too much about the Gears of War series, but from what we saw in the cinematic trailer. It looks cool. I mean, again, you, you, you can never get too excited for a cinematic trailer anymore, right? Because it's a cinematic trailer. But a prequel to the entire Gears of War series does sound... So I'm excited to see more of this game. We didn't get a release date, which is not really shocking. I'm not going to lie. But hey, until then, it was just good to know that this game is being in development. And I think the idea of the prequel is really, really cool. And that was just about everything of substance at the Xbox Game Showcase. I, I skimmed the Call of Duty Black Ops show because, again, I'm not big on Call of Duty. From what I've seen, it, 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 looks, it, it looks cool. It, it looks like more Call of Duty, but it does look like they, they've, they've taken a little more time to polish things out a little bit it does it does look like they either it does look like they are actually taking time and care into this one which i think is interesting but uh yeah i'm not too excited for call of duty but as a whole how was the showcase what else can i say man this this was a solid nine out of ten show this was a great freaking showcase literally everything i would have wanted to be here was here and more i i had three or four games that absolutely surprised me with their appearance and i genuinely think every game here looks pretty damn good i i i don't think there was a single piece of gameplay from any of these games that made me think this could kind of use a little more work well that's not true i kind of felt that way for about i'm not gonna lie but literally everything else looked very very solid I wish we got a few more dates. I wish we got a few more dates. That would have made this showcase a true 10 out of 10. But from what we saw, this was the showcase that Xbox seriously needed. Xbox was having a really shitty look lately, and this was and this was seriously what Xbox needed to just get a little bit, just a little bit, attention back. Now, will they deliver on it? By which I mean how many of these games will actually release on their windows and actually be good we have to wait and see but for right now from what we saw and assuming that these games actually land and hopefully deliver then it looks like xbox is going to have a pretty solid future but again assuming everything actually manages to deliver but what did you think of the xbox game showcase did you like it did you love it did you hate it Comment below in the video and let me know. My next video, like I said, a review. Which review, I'm still not sure, but I will keep you posted. If you wanna stay up to date on what I'm doing, follow me on Instagram, that's at the Gamer Critic. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It helps a ton. Be good people and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, peace.